please check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is James and Max here doing another reaction video. So what were we reacting to, James? Yeah, that's a media I drilled to a drive through uh, at Chick-fil-A in Arizona like five years ago, seven years ago. Well, this this uh, was nine years ago. Nine years ago. I was close. I ain't, I'm not oh, perfect wow. as you are. <laughs> but um, pretty much, she, I understand his frustration, you know what I mean, what the the fan or the owner said about uh, gay, you know, being, you know, gay marriage, you know, you know what I mean, how, you know, also the kind of fine line is like freedom of speech and uh, freedom of religion too in some ways. But but there's certain things how you do this. This is the wrong way of doing things. It's like a, putting out on a poor person who's, you know, like, you know, a employee has no one charge whatever the fan or the owner t says, on, you know, his beliefs. No. Reports. And it makes it sound like, oh, you should be, you should not be working here because he said something. But it, it makes it sound so simple. It's like, oh, it's finding a new job. It's that easy. Now it's easy. Job market is a lot easier now. Mm. You go to like around here, I mean, you'll find like tons of uh, one signs. Back then, it, you know, job marketing wasn't that great. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, um, I mean, like anybody making the minimum uh, with the minimum amount of education uh, needs something to work. Well, it's too late make around seventeen dollars an hour right now, in the mill federal wages. I mean, like now it is like that, but back then it's probably less. Yeah, um, way less. Because oh, this is Arizona, so it could be different. It, yeah, and also like almost ten years ago. So I mean, like it, it could have been like at least like what maybe eleven, maybe twelve, maybe mm -hmm. at the most. Well, well, the point thing is, like, you know, the the poor helpless lady. I mean, the way she had was perfect. I yeah, mean, she what, wasn't emotional. She didn't uh, react. It's like uh, maybe, maybe she's kind of used to people coming up and giving her a hard time, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, of course. Especially after, you know, the whole, like, uh, yeah, about the announcement with that. And well, in the way it kind of backfired on the people protesting because they made the sugar fully more famous. I never really heard of this restaurant until this happened. And then suddenly they're, they're popping all around right now. They're building one right now. Yeah, in kind the... of like, you know, fed into their corporation a bit. I mean, like, they want to see what the hubbub's about. Yeah. Although it didn't work the same for Hobby Lobby. I'm not yeah. going to I'm not gonna patronize them just just because. Well, you go in there, you have a bunch of listed stuff. I'm in there a couple times. I get, like, uh, things from my uh, Facebook card, you know, holders. I was in yeah. Shiggle. Those, like, limit uh, places I could buy cards, but uh, holders. But, um... But the thing was, I mean, there's, there's ways of doing things. I mean, I don't, I don't go to Walmart because I keep checking for my receipts. You know what I mean? I think it's kind of stupid. But well, um, I mean, it doesn't stop it anybody stop anyway. Me. It doesn't stop me anything. It's Does just, it definitely didn't stop me. It didn't stop, <laughs> it didn't stop me either. So, <laughs> I, yeah. but it's which we're kind of going off track right now. But but let's watch the video. This this guy is like really proud of himself. Yeah. Um. Uh. We'll talk about more. Uh, who he is like late later in the video. Okay. Um, but uh, just to react to what he's he so proud. He's like he's going. I'm, I'm, well, I'm really excited about my free water. water. Um, um, I, I also, also see like a group like, of three college or students over there. But he's like a jerk. Like he's like the same, the same mentality so of like people. Yeah, he would happen with my free water. I think I might just say a few words too. Well, I mean, he's like the white, like white collar of. Like it's been a long line. Like long line cars, cars too. I, mean, I don't know I understand if you can see. Sign, those, protesting, um, walking back on you know public. You can do that. You don't have to have Chick Fil A or, or donut. Anti gay. Yeah, but uh, breakfast sandwich. Mm, mm, always, always tastes good. Really, really advertising mm. the sandwich now, huh? Love it. Yeah, when I did DoorDash, Come man, on, that was I like my free water. I did a like that business with DoorDash. Come on. Yeah, but I mean, really hope those would never stop making a sandwich. No, are gonna do a sit in. I like their fries. It just makes sense. I never really care for the fries. Really? I like, I've got Jack and Box. I, I can't eat go Jack and Box fries. I mean, yeah, Jack and Box fries fell off. I, I feel I feel to get a meal. That's the reason. Yeah. I'll, I'll get two of um, okay, right, right. their hamburgers. Right. Two of them. Oh, uh, here you go. Hey, hey, how you doing? doing? What is this water? Is this my free water? It is. Awesome. awesome. You yeah, know why I'm getting the free water, right? I do not. Because Chick fil A is a hateful corporation. I know, but. Tell me about gingers a lot. I know, but you guys, but the corporation gives money to hate, hate groups. Hate groups. Just because people want to kiss another guy. 
Sorry? Well, the Mormon religion was getting, getting no, married to everyone. Yeah, I believe that too. I don't believe corporations, corporations, corporations should be giving, giving money, money to hateful to groups. groups. I totally understand. I'll take, I'll take my water. water. I just work here. I just hear your water. I just work here. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm glad that I can take a little bit of money from Chick fil A and maybe less money to hate groups. Have a great day. Well, you're talking to one person. I don't yeah, know I mean, how you live with yourself and, and work here. I don't know. Oh, no. This part is a horrible corporation with horrible values. Really you deserve better. Chris, you deserve her. better. Rachel, how dare you, you work better. here? Okay. I hope you have a really nice day. I will. I just did something really good. good. I really feel sorry for this lady. Okay. I'm a nice guy, by the way. And I'm totally heterosexual. I'm not known. I can't stand hate. Well, you just have three kids. You gotta stop. It just... Poor lady. I just feel sorry for her. She's like... I yeah, can't. She just I can't. Do her job and like you know, she can't like uh, react to what she's be saying. Yeah, she's in a public. She'll get in trouble. It's like I feel sorry for you. We're saying I hate you, you customers. You got to a certain step. You got to take their BS from customers, and it, and at technically, she can refuse to serve the guy. Mm. You know, you, give me your wire back. <laughs> yeah. I, w- I would too. And then, you know, she could tell him to leave. And technically, um, on private property, you uh, have to leave someone tells you to leave. But well, I mean, like, you know, like, you could, he's just still within the freedom of speech thing, but. Well, the, the, well, the thing is. Um, I mean, no, yeah. like, uh, the protesting part is fine, but, yeah. like, him, like, um, ad hominem her, yeah, I mean, wrong then person, yeah. that, that's wrong. And, you know, so like, I, you know, who knows how much. BFG she takes a day working the drive thing because you know working customers, you know I tell my uh, my nephew my nieces and my nephew is like when they first start working it's like ninety nine percent of the stuff people yell or complain about things you have no control over. Of course. And you got bite her tongue and she bite her tongue. You got to choose your battles. Yeah, that's true. Like uh, I I would say not to like to pick on the the uh, the lower rungs of the of the corporation like the employees. The small, the no, the these people don't even have a probably a stake in the company. They don't even have stocks or anything mm. like they have, have nothing to do with nothing. their C, CEO or they say yeah or any of their um their corporations. Just they're just like people trying to get by. If I if I post that right, the company that does something like Nike, how they uh make you know or other uh, companies that go overseas and make you know or like where I worked at Dole, um, they're. They're notorious for like land grabs and um, mm. human rights violations in those countries and paying those people like basically slave wages. And look at Nestle. That's one. Big oh, one. yeah. The chocolate is like is um, a big deal. I mean, like uh, it, there's no fair trade in chocolate. Stop buying chocolate. Well, you're not going to stop buying chocolate. Let, let's be honest. You, you, there's, there's like you're, a, there's, you're never going to stop buying chocolate. But there's a lot of, <laughs> but the thing is, there's, there's a comedy skit some guy did, um, a three goes four or something. I don't know that he did like a sketch about people are going to a party. They're 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 planning to do something for that that weekend, and let's go this. Well, we can't because they do this. I mean, let's do this. And I oh, say yeah. we're, we're just better just killing ourselves, you know, oh, well, <laughs> because well. we can't do anything. Because no matter what you do, some company is doing something nasty yeah. for something. And, yeah, I mean, even the smaller people, like, mm-hmm. I'm sure, like, there's no, nothing good. Like, I'm pretty sure the dollar store items there are, are not are nothing to uh, sneeze at either. Like, anything that's a dollar store, I'm pretty sure, like, has <laughs> something to do with something else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, no, there's no winning. There's no winning about how bad it is. I mean, it's the only thing you do is protest. You're out to have a sign, protest, uh, walk on the... Yeah, you're fine with, uh, like, you know, protesting outside. Yeah. Not bothering employees, not disrupting service, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. But lately, there's been a lot of uh, TikTok uh, challenges now. They treat employees like crap. You know, there's one guy uh, walking into a Best Buy, not wearing t shirt, not wearing t shirt, and um, an employee told him he got to wear a shirt, and he he picked, he, thought he was really picking on him because he was not wearing a shirt mm. because he's making him crumble wear a shirt. And so he did was he got a bunch of people single this poor guy out. And he's the best thing. He just looked at this. I'm not a part of this. When it hit on uh, in a manager's office, it's like stupid crap. It's like, and there's one video of the Walmart uh, prank thing. It's like they're telling people, uh, "We're Walmart. We're here to. We didn't like how you work. You're fired." And these people are crying. These poor people. They're like they they are barely making money, and then these jerks, you know, making money off their, uh, you know, 
with your work. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Like, uh, yeah, I, I would say, like, just stop, like, like harassing employees of these places, of anywhere, honestly. Like, just stop them harassing them. Unless they're, you know, like, doing something bad to you, uh, and they they need to uh, be told, like, you know, that's wrong, but that's it. Well, there, there's been a few times I feel like I was uh, being targeted. One time I walked in a, um, this one restaurant, and I were a bunch of punks and big services. They're, so I felt complained about it. Did they, they tell you to leave? No, just, no. It's because... just they're, they're this whole service is just crap. He, oh. he made rules. The wine waitress made because we order water. And it's, and yeah. Complain that we weren't allowed to drink so much water. Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw one time in Seven uh, Eleven that uh, it was really late at night, um, and maybe they had this problem with a problem with this person before, but this guy was um, well, I mean. Like, he was just walking the street. You don't even know if he's homeless or not. But he's wearing, a, like, a, one of those, um, those like, plastic ponchos. You know, those ones that, like, are, like, it's basically a shopping bag yeah. that's, that's over your body. And uh, he just told them, like, hey, like, uh, pay me and get out. And I'm like, he didn't do nothing. I was in there for the whole time he was there, and he didn't do nothing to provoke that. I don't get it. We're- just because, like, what, he came off the street. And he's wearing a, like a poncho. Yeah. You know, like having his backpack. You know, what if he's just going to wait for the bus? You know, it's four in the morning. You know, yeah. there's buses around. Mm-hmm. Like I certainly did that. Like you know, I, I. Uh, but yeah, like uh, with with this come to to customer to to employee discrimination. That's one thing. But yeah, just attacking employees for nothing they have. I, like uh, a stake into that's wrong. So very much, this guy got fired. Um, yeah, he was a CEO uh, of uh, two hundred thousand a year and of a company in uh, in Arizona making good and, and making that's like a million dollars making in Arizona. And from... this this video went viral and everywhere he went, uh, yeah, for he, for years. I I don't even he's trapped in Oregon now because he got fired. Well, I mean. <laughs> Well, I mean, that video that we were watching with uh, the news mm-hmm. was, like, years ago. Yeah. So, I mean. Maybe. Yeah, but he was. But who knows if he's still on knows? that now? Who knows? But. Um, I, I would hope that they would forget about it. But. There's, there's people that done worse things. Yeah, there's jobs. way for people that. There's a lot of actors that do. I like. Rob Lowe had sex with that like those, those 16-year-olds. Mm-hmm. 16, 23 on 16-year-old. Mm-hmm. And made him more famous. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes, like. Some things like that happen, or just going on a rumor, like you know the whole like, uh, yeah. um, what's his name uh, from uh, the Mothman prophecies? I don't know that, but the Mothman prophecies that movie. I don't know. Well, Richard Gere. Richard Gere. So yeah. a lot of people like thought that like he put a hamster in his butt for a long time, just because of what somebody said. Oh, I don't. Know you didn't hear about that? that? No, I didn't know. I really, that. that's huh? crazy. There's a lot of things. I don't know. I am crazy, but I never heard that. <laughs> that's crazy. You never heard that. That's literally the joke that's been around since the late nineties. Well, I hear. <laughs> okay, I I'll look it up. Yeah, it's so funny, but um, just yeah, but um, there's certain people that have done worse, but uh, yeah, just attacking an employee for working there. That's not cool. So, um, very much we're doing the kind of new series. Uh, people upload things, get fired. Um, new series we're doing right now. We're doing a bunch of mix with this. Um, for this channel, do different things. We're not trying to focus on one thing. We're trying different things. Um, it depends. I'm trying to get Max into a tutu. We'll try a new series. Max wearing a tutu going to the store part two. <laughs> Who knows? That's funny. <laughs> but, um, or make, or, you know, tutu and pasties. That'd be an interesting video. Mm. See how long he, he walks into the store. How, how, I would imagine they would, like, literally kick me out just because we're having pasties because, uh, <laughs> San Francisco. The, shape, the shape of nipples. San Francisco, because San Francisco, they all hair you can walk around naked i don't know like uh sometimes i get dirty looks just for looking the way i am <laughs> yeah that's okay who knows well there'll be some asshole out there so uh let us know what you think like and subscribe uh